ask you a few questions today. You don't have to answer. You can be silent if you want to. You can be that silent majority. No. You, you can be folk who sit at home and stay pissed off, but you don't ever do anything. But I want to ask you a few questions. When the average family in America spends more on taxes than they do on food, is that liberty or tyranny? In 1943, our elected legislators passed something called the withholding tax that was supposed to be temporary. Yes, right. This is 2009. Is that liberty or tyranny? Yes. In 1969, our elected officials passed a law that allowed them to steal money from Social Security and use it for bridges to nowhere and mule museums in California. Is that liberty or tyranny? Tyranny! Now, in addition to using our money for the mule museum, they only made one other mistake. They misnamed it. It should have been called the Jackass Museum. When our elected leaders in Washington, D.C., along with the unions, try to eliminate the secret ballot, is that liberty or tyranny? Yeah. And let me tell you about the latest ruin that's going on in the halls of all of those beautiful buildings in Washington, D.C. That we pay for. Let me tell you the one that they are working on so they can pass it overnight without people reading it the way they didn't read the $787 billion spending package overnight. They're working on another one that they are planning to pass overnight. If you are not watching, if you don't pay attention, if we don't bring it to your attention, they're getting ready to provide amnesty to 12 million illegal aliens in this country. words. And I'm not making this stuff up. I am not making this up. Nancy Pelosi has said it's un-American Nancy Pelosi has said it's un-American to enforce the immigration laws in this country. Is that liberty or tyranny? And the people in Washington, D.C., the people in Washington, D.C., the people, the people in Washington, D.C., they, they have also forgotten something else. That same, that same document that talks about life liberty and the pursuit of happiness and they are denying us the pursuit of happiness when we have to pay more in taxes than it takes to buy food for your family they are on a march to take many of our liberties by actually claiming that the declaration of independence and the constitution should not be recognized when in fact it's those documents that help to make this country to become a great country.